It's not long now. In one week, the world will be playing Farming Simulator 25. And looking back, man, things have really come a long way. The details on the machines highlighted in this garage trailer are truly a step up, in my opinion, from even the vehicles in FS22. Let's take a little walk down history lane. Farming Simulator 13 Titanium Edition on Steam lists having 100 plus authentic vehicles. Farming Simulator 15 brought over 140 authentic vehicles and farming tools from over 40 of the most famous manufacturers. 20 new brands, implying that FS13 had as few as 20 brands or thereabout. Farm Sim 17 brought over 250 authentic farming vehicles and equipment from over 75 manufacturers. Farm Sim 19 brought even more vehicles and machines, taking the count to over 300. And then finally, Farming Simulator 22 had over 400 authentic machines and tools from 169 actual agricultural brands. And I got that number by counting listings on the Giants website. The increase in vehicle brands and machines continues with Farming Simulator 25, which has again over 400 machines from again over 150 brands based on its marketing speak. Right now there are 128 brands listed on the website as of the recording of this video. Now I hear people say all the time, I'm not going to play Farm Sim until there's enough mods out there because the vehicles and machines that are in the game just aren't good enough. We need high quality mods before the game is enjoyable. Open up your eyes and take a look at this people because these vehicles that we see in our garage trailer which are included in the base game are just so far out there in the league of details and quality. I feel like in FS25, modders are going to have to definitely kick it up a notch in order to compete with the base game vehicles and machines. Well, let's roll this all back and take a closer look in more detail. The trailer starts out with a quick slide shoe, several vehicles and machines. We get a quick look at the various brands and then we have the new Massey Ferguson 9S 285 tractor. Now let's pause this here real quick and let's zoom in on that three point hitch. We know we have reflections, but enhanced details like this three point hitch on the 9S are really surprising. We have branded hitch hardware and the textures on the paint of the rest of the hitch make you feel like you can just actually reach out there and grab it. I have a link to the hitch brand in the description below. Our eyes are attracted to motion. So initially, the first thing I suspect we all saw were the cooling fans spinning inside each engine compartment. But other things that we can see on this cloth, for example, is the transparent nature of the grills and as such, the details within. It's not far back in the release cycles that most grills were fairly solid with respect to base game equipment. I remember being excited to see modded vehicles with animations like fans, drive shafts, and the like. Something else we're going to be seeing coming to base game machinery are animated display screens. I really hope we get to see some form of dynamic screen based on what type of job we were doing. And then check out that Voltros three point hitch. Are those a few paint chips I see? Now this is of course the garage trailer, but I couldn't help but notice the road textures and the water collecting in the middle. Could it be seeping up or just some standing water from a recent rain? Looks like the line crew should be coming by at some point to touch up some things as well. I think most of the vehicles profiled in the garage have already been outlined in fact sheets, but we have some stats related to the John Deere S7 series harvesters, animations on the intakes of long grain rice, and animations of the inner workings of the equipment. The Fent 700 Vario. The International Transstar has some really great animations under the cab and drive shaft hauling a sprayer down the road. The new New Holland CR11 harvesting wheat. What we can see here is we have bleed through of the stubble on the tracks though. Come on Giants, can we get that fixed? And then some stunning views of Riverbend Springs from the New Holland in the field harvesting. The quad track traversing the river. Note the shadow of the quad track and the implement on the water under the bridge. Our Massey out mulching, a Voltra seating in front of the Sunflower Maze, the small dudes mowing with a pair of Semes mowers, the Agrifax Condor spraying and taking care of those weeds, 
a little semi rolling around the field, and the new MKB4TR spinach harvester. We also have a Steyr out there planting. One of the signature vehicles for Farm Sim 25 is the newly redesigned Case Quadrac 715, complete with details like genuine CNHI hydraulic oil filters. Oh, and look there, Case IH Racine, Wisconsin. Did I mention something earlier about details? How about some details about the Valtra S series? Now I'm drawn here to the field textures as well as the deformation under the tires on the ground. Another one of the signature tractors and the Kloss Zerion 12 seating away and using the new Nova Ag T-Force Plus. How about the new Massey Ferguson 9S with 285 horsepower to 425 horsepower? She sure is a beaut. Now let's pause here real quick and see just a small sampling of the brands that we will have available to us in our garage for next week's rollout of Farming Simulator 25. We're down to the final countdown with just one week to go. I'm sure we'll have another blog post on Thursday and of course we have the final fact sheet video on Friday. In addition, I am finally able to share with you the news that starting Friday, November 8th, I'll also be able to share with you early access videos. I plan to be dropping both pre-recorded videos leading up to the release as well as daily live streams where we can come as a community, ask questions, and I can show the game off. Keep an eye on the channel for a community post later this week with special live streams from Friday through Monday evening, when I will also host a launch party for all to join. Also, look forward to evening live streams each night from Tuesday, November 12th through Saturday, November 16th. Now, I'll be going back to my day job on the 18th, so things will be a bit less regular after that. Now, maybe you've been holding off on pre-ordering Farm Sim 25 until the vehicles and tools look as detailed, if not more detailed, than most of the mods coming out for FS22. If that's the case, then I've got some news for you. While we do not yet have a release schedule for FS25, in the past, I can say the fastest way to obtain Farming Simulator's new releases have been via the Giants eShop. Game and DLCs have typically released at midnight CET on the day of release. You can extrapolate that for however you might want with respect to your time zone. eShop version is for PC players only though. I do not have information on when the game releases for PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, or Epic Games. For those looking for something more than just the digital bits from a download, it is not too late to be picking up your very own collector's edition that includes the base game as well as the pre-order bonus of the Macdon pack and the golden CR11, but also a USB ignition lock, keychain, stickers, posters, and the latest edition of the official modding tutorials. Interested parties can pick up one from Amazon using my affiliate link also in the description. Lastly. Do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel as I have big plans for the next few weeks as I run down all of the new features coming to Farming Simulator 25 as well as the cover the basics for any new players. Three amazing new map guides for Riverbend Springs, Hutan Pantai, and Zilonka as well as an interactive live streams. Just over 400 subs to go to reach our goal of 50,000 before November 12th. You can be a part of a very great movement. Something that will also go a long way in helping us reach that goal is to like this video as each like informs YouTube that it should recommend the video to more viewers with similar viewing habits. Until we meet again, happy farming.